to the fourth part of the Jupyter Notebooks installation tutorials. In this video, we will look at upgrading our current Jupyter Notebook server to the latest version. The procedure is very similar to how we installed it the first time, so I'll go ahead and walk through the installation. Now we're going to have to pick a different location than where we initially installed it, so I'll go ahead and modify the path a little bit. So now that it's finished, we should see a second directory called Jupyter2. If we had configured SSL or added any additional packages to our previous installation, we would need to move those files over to the new installation directory. And the last step is to run the build and start scripts to create the Docker images and containers. Just like in the initial installation, we will need to give the scripts execute permissions, which can be done using chmod. And there we have it. The Jupyter Notebook server was successfully upgraded using its existing configuration. Thank you for watching.